Yo, in December of last year, I had an eye infection in my right eye. The thing is, the doctor told me that the cause of the eye infection was that an eyelash got lodged into my eye. So the... Correct me if I'm wrong, but the point of an eyelash is to keep stuff out of my eye. You literally had one fucking job. Since I couldn't see, I definitely couldn't walk anywhere without tripping over and because of the excruciating pain, I was pretty much bedridden. I lived in pitch black with no sound for an entire week. Even if a ray of sunlight came through the window, I would just- My eyes could not take any stimulation at all. The most I did was just eat food and go to the toilet. At the end of the week, my room looked like a crime scene. I didn't shower for the whole week because I couldn't see, and if I slipped, I would be fu- I basically lived like the average League of Legends player. The only difference is that when I went to the doctor, he got a student nurse to help check my eye, and she was around my age, and um, so she was basically forced to look me in the eye. And as we all know, League of Legends players cannot make eye contact with the opposite sex. Anyway, imagine being in silence for 10 hours. like. Most people can't even get 10 minutes of silence nowadays. But after those 10 hours, I grab my phone, I somehow make it to YouTube, and then I put on a song. I listen to the album, and I drift away from the physical world. 30 minutes pass, the album ends, all the songs have finished, I've listened to everything, and it feels like I've awoken from a dream. It feels like something has been lifted. You're so present and just in the moment. And then contrast this to how normal people listen to music. Normal people can listen to their entire playlist in a day. They can listen to their favorite songs on repeat, but not hear a single word that was sang. Between these two scenarios, who had the better experience? Who had a deeper connection? Who was more present? It's not even a question, it's a no-brainer. And this one question can completely change your view on consumption. Do you really listen to music? The key word is listen. The world is so keen on grabbing your attention, you might be playing this on a different tab in the background, or you might be in the comments section right now. We love filling our lives with stuff, and the same goes with noise. Some of us feel this compulsive need to always have something playing in the background. Do you just scroll for like 5 minutes on Netflix just to click on a show that you don't really care about but because you want to have some background noise while you eat dinner? Do you really watch YouTube videos or are you just AFK? Like how did you even get to this video? Like was it a conscious thing that you chose for yourself or did your brain choose for you? If you're like me, you grew up on YouTube. You can probably click on the YouTube bookmark on your Google Chrome through muscle memory at this point because it's been there for years. We do it so much that our brains can just do it unconsciously now. You know when you listen to a new song and it becomes your new favorite song and you listen to it on repeat for a week straight and after that week, it's not even a song anymore, it's just noise. You can't even identify with it anymore. You've heard it so much, you're just sick of it. Now think about how life was a hundred years ago. In the past, we had music records and turntables where a father would get home after a long day working in the mines, sit down at the fireplace, Honey, I'm home, I'm gonna listen to the tunes. And then he would put the record on the turntable, the thing would start spinning and the needle would drop. And that was special. That was an event. I just imagine like his wife sitting in the armchair, knitting like a scarf or something, his kids playing near the fireplace, and he's just relaxing. It's so weird, they used to have to block out a specific time to listen to music. Think about that. We used to have to literally block out time in our day, from this time to this time. We're gonna use this time to listen to music. And that made it special. Nowadays, we can get everything we want whenever we want. Nowadays, we just play the song not to listen to the song, but just because we're uncomfortable with silence. That was 5 seconds, around 5 seconds, but how long did it actually feel? You couldn't even look at me for 5 seconds without like checking, oh did the, did the Wi-Fi lag or did, did the video pause? When noise is the norm, silence is jarring. Let's talk about my favorite song, because everything here on this channel is about me, fuck you. Back when I used to cry nearly every single day, I would always listen to Hey Jude by The Beatles. Paul McCartney wrote the song for Julian Lennon after his parents had divorced. So basically, he's literally me. And I remember having the exact same ritual of getting on the bed, laying face up, 
and just listening to the song and waiting for the chorus to hit because when the chorus hit, that's when I could cry. And that continued from 2021 to 2022. And because I listened to that song so frequently because I had so many mental health issues, it lost its meaning. I couldn't cry anymore. I would try. I would wait till the chorus hit. The chorus would hit. I would try to force something out and nothing came out. Maybe I was like dehydrated or something. I need to drink water, bro. Ugh. It lost its meaning. Every time I look back at that period of my life, I can only see that time with Hey Jude playing in my head. It's like that scene in my movie has Hey Jude as its soundtrack. It's always gonna be there now. When my mental health got better from 2022 to 2023 and I stopped being a little fanboy, I didn't need to listen to the song anymore. And only recently I, I listened to the song again and it had regained all its meaning. After not listening to that song for an entire year, that one song brought back a thousand memories. But now imagine if I diluted that song by listening to it every day, no matter how I felt. It would have taken a song that meant so much to me and just made it noise. It would just slowly become meaningless. And you are what you listen to. So if you listen to stuff that is meaningless, what does that say about you? I look like I'm doing the Sigma face. Oof. Music is so special. So if you want to regain your attention and enjoy it like you used to, here's what you can do. And it, the video will not work if you don't follow what I'm about to say. For the next week, I need you to isolate yourself in your room. Don't, no human contact, no phone, no technology, no food, no showering, no pissing. You have to piss in your own mouth if you want to survive. I'm, I'm just kidding. For the next week, just go on your life as normal, but delete your music player. Whether that's Spotify, Apple Music, legally downloading songs as documents. Just delete the app so that your muscle memory doesn't kick in. And if you're like me and you illegally down, I mean, <clears throat> and you use um, YouTube, then what you can do is just turn off autoplay it should already be off that's just fucking disgusting bro or if you want you can download an extension that gets rid of all recommended videos so if you want to find something you truly do have to search it you have to intentionally search for what you want and if you go shopping at a mall or something you don't have to like cover your ears the whole time because there's music playing it's it's fine just intentionally not listen to music on your own if someone else is playing music so be it and then at the same time every day it doesn't matter what time it could be after you wake up it can be before you go to bed it could be some random time in the middle of the day just block out a specific 10 minute window doesn't matter when just make sure it's consistently the same time every day block out time to listen to music in that 10 minute block re-download your music player and just find the song that you really do want to hear right now the song that you want to hear or the song that you need to hear right now Lay face up on your bed or you can even do this on the floor. Just lay face up and breathe deeply into your stomach like you're meditating. This is the same as meditation. Close your eyes and this works a hundred times better with noise cancellation headphones or earphones. So that's why today's sponsor is Raycons. Now fuck you. Breathe deeply into your stomach while listening and truly be so intentional that you listen to every vibration, every note, every sound, every lyric everything just forget that the entire world exists and just fall into the music you can do this with one song or if you want and you have more time you can do it with an entire album just make sure that no matter what you're listening to be as focused as possible give it your full attention i promise you after a week you'll enjoy listening to music again your favorite song will feel so much better to listen to it's not just when you listen to music you'll feel so much more present just in life in general this is the basis of dopamine detoxing consume less and when you do consume do it intentionally this isn't a seven day challenge this is a way to ease you into a new lifestyle with this lifestyle i don't listen to music other than when i'm working out and when i've blocked out time to really give it my attention when i'm ready to give it my attention but the bottom line is this doesn't just concern music this concerns absolutely everything that you consume. Start with being intentional when you listen to music and then level it up. And then at some point, you're gonna be so conscious of everything you consume that you're just so present all the time. The mindset that I adopted is that this is a lifestyle. You can't do a 30 day, I didn't listen to music for 30 day challenge because that isn't sustainable. Since we wanna change our lives, we have an entire lifetime to do it. If you're gonna just do the seven day experiment just for the sake of it and not for the lifestyle change, then don't even bother because it will not work. That is the equivalent of the fat guy going to the gym once a week. Like yeah, 
It's good progress, but we assume that over the next year, he'll increase it to maybe three or four times a week. We know that if he stays at one, he'll see very little progress. It's the same with us. If you're intentional with just music consumption, but then in every other part of life, you're still over-consuming, brain dead on TikTok, still watching porn, still scrolling on Instagram. If you only do it when it comes to music, you're just working out one day a week you're still spending the other six days ruining your progress. Like, yeah, good job, music has regained its meaning, but then the rest of life is still meaningless noise. You cannot stop at just music. Since it's a lifestyle, you have to apply this in every part of life. If not, it's not a lifestyle, it's just a 30-day challenge. So the rule that I have is that it's okay to consume. But if you're gonna consume, Make sure that whatever you're consuming, be it a movie, a book, music, a YouTube video like this, make sure that it is not background noise. Just give it your attention for just five minutes. You'll find so much more fulfillment and you'll actually appreciate what you're consuming way more. You'll get so much more joy out of it. If you're gonna consume something, make it the main event. I'll take action. Give me a kiss. <laughs>